Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at the Gung Ho deck. The final starter that we have seen for Jim Lee's C23. Put out by Wizards of the Coast, this is part of the Arc System and is interchangeable with other Arc System games. So this is a 40 card starter, there's 162 cards total. So we are going to see some duplicates in here. Alright, let's get right into this and see what's in this final deck of the Arc System. Uh, the Jim Lee C23 cards. We've looked at the others, and now this is the last of the six starters that we have to look at. So, there should be some deck-specific cards in here that we haven't seen yet, hopefully. If I can get the plastic wrap off. Alright. As always, we've got our little advertising sheet here. Where they tell us about the, the characters, and the general universe information, plus the checklist for all the cards and all the decks. This paper is really thin, so if you're collecting it, be very careful. Uh, this is the rules sheet, then. The rules look pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's a fairly easy game, it's color coordinated. Just like most, so it gives you a diagram of how the cards are supposed to be laid out in the rules. So it's pretty easy, but the rule sheet is on equally poor paper. So be, be conscious of that when you're taking out the rules. Alright, let's see what we've got here. We've got a Fresh Out of the Academy. An Anglin War Room. Resource. We've got a Rebel Sentry. We've got a uh, Hyper Shock Barracks, Ground Pounders, Council Chamber Resource, Subdue, an Armory Resource, the Oracle Resource, Council Mariah's Guards, Weapons Factory Resource, a Rejected Experiment. Anglin War Room Resource, Colonial Police, Hypershock Barracks, Training Cadre, another Council Chambers Resource, Councilor Mariah's Guard, another Armory, another one of the Oracle, Econ's Task Force, Weapons Factory, did you hear something? A war room? Colonial Hulkbusters? Hypershock Barracks again? Loyal Strike Force? Another Council Chambers? Econ's Task Force? Another Armory? Another one of the Oracle? A Stasis Field? A Weapons Factory? Armored Transport, Rocket Platoon, Tactical Database, a Cybered Up Gizzard, a Sensory Station, Barrages Tracking Missiles, and lastly, Phalanx. Alright, that's the Gung Ho deck. Um, as usual, we've got a lot of repetition on the resources, which is a little disappointing. They could have varied the art up a little bit. And uh, we've seen a lot of these cards before, but there are a few that we have not seen. So it's good to see the last of them. And uh, that's what's inside the Jim Lee C23 Gung Ho deck. Um, as always, my main complaint is the low quality of the rule book and the lack of Jim Lee art in the Jim Lee C23 decks and cards in general. Uh, the booster packs I think are completely unnecessary. I would just play starter against starter. I've said that I think in just about all the videos. I don't really see the point when there's so much repetition between the decks and the and the decks are pretty well built as it is. So I would just play starter versus starter and you can find these fairly cheap. 
So, at least as of this recording in 2017. So that's what's inside Jim Lee's C-23 Gung Ho deck. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope we see you next time on What's Inside.